Okay, good morning. In this session, I will be explaining about the Malaysian Parliament. Okay, just take note that in this session, I'll be using P okay, as a short form to indicate Parliament. So, it will be easier for you to write. Okay, first thing, let's try to understand the concept of Parliamentary Democracy. Democracy. Okay, so basically this concept or this system is actually a political system in which the parliament now has the power to form the government. Yeah? Okay, so the government here refers to first one our prime minister and the second one is the ministers in the cabinet. So in this system also the people, okay, the citizen who are eligible to vote in the general election will have the power to select the government in the general election. And uh, Prime Minister and the ministers, actually the leaders in the government, they are actually from the party that wins majority seats in the general election. Yeah? Win the majority seats in the general election just now. So in this concept, the government here has dual responsibility. Okay, the first one towards the parliament itself and the second one towards the people. Okay, so that's basically is about the concept of parliamentary democracy that we practice in this country. And next one, let's move on to the components of the parliament. Okay, basically our parliament has three main components. Okay, the first one is our Yang Dipertuan Agong, okay, the king. And under him, there are two components. The first one is the Senate, or also known as Dewan Negara. Okay. The second one is the House of Representatives. The thief, sorry. Okay, which is also known as Dewan undangan sorry they want rakyat so these are the main components in the parliament so what are the function of malaysian parliament okay the main function of our parliament is regarding law okay so it has power to um, legislate the law Okay, and also to amend new law and to abolish the current law. For example, in matters related to tax. Okay, so the parliament will have the authority to um, amend new tax, okay, to the current one, or to abolish the current tax. Okay, or to also impose new tax in the country. So this will be the example for the power of the parliament. And the legislative power which is owned by the, by the parliament here is actually determined by the Malaysian constitution. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, that our parliament consists of two, sorry, three components, okay, the two main components here, Senate and House of Representatives, they share legislative power. So the legislative power shared by these two components is actually determined by the Malaysian Constitution. Okay, what I mean here is that the Malaysian Constitution decides on what are the laws related to the Senate or that the Senate has the authority to decide and also what are the laws that the House of Representatives has the authority to decide. 
Okay, so the laws um, or the matters, Senate has the authority to decide are actually known as the federal list. Whereas the laws which House of Representative has the authority to decide is known as the state list. Okay, uh, the example for federal list uh, are uh, matters related to the finance, defense, and also education, and etc. Many others. Whereas the matters uh, provided under the state list for the House of Representative, uh, for example, like Islamic affairs, agriculture, and etc. Other than these two lists, we also have another list known as the joint list. Okay. So, joint list actually is the shared list. Okay. It consists of matters uh, for the law which is shared by the uh, Senate and also House of Representatives. These matters, for example, like the welfare and also scholarship. Okay, so uh, Parliament will operate for five years period of time. Okay, and after that it will be automatically dissolved, and within sixty days, the general election has to be conducted. Okay, in the country for the new Parliament to be formed. So I think that's all for this session. Thank you very much.